Like, I had heard a couple of days ago that, uh... Uh, a couple of reviews had come out for uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, which is um, actually supposed to release tomorrow or, or somewhere around that time. And, uh, oh, man. Um, a couple of reviews had, uh, had released, and from what people were saying, apparently some of them had spoiled some stuff. Which is always a fantastic idea for an RPG game. Now, I can't really confirm this myself because when I want to play a story-based game, I, uh, I do my best not to actually, uh, you know, uh, make sure that, hey, th this person dies? Oh, man, that's a, that, that's a darn, that's a ding-dang-dong-ding ding shame. But, uh... I sent the wrong person. But yeah. So I didn't really look into that particular bit. And make sure that... Yeah. Somebody did spoil the thing. But... Uh, there's a bit more to that story now. Um... The person in question had decided, well, you know, why are people getting so angry at me? I mean, why the hell should they get angry? Why, why the hell are they so angry? They should, they should be happy that I talked about the game at all. And I don't know, maybe I'm weird. I keep sending him to the wrong fucking place. Maybe I'm weird, but I can't help but feel that if, say, you came out of the theater and shouted at the top of your lungs that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father, people would probably be kind of angry about it. Now again, I can't confirm it, and apparently it's been changed since, but, uh... But, uh, the person who had since changed the article had decided it would be a super cool idea to make fun of people who are genuinely pissed off about this. Which, it's fine! I mean, you know, what's the worst that can happen? Uh. Now, I'm no, uh, genius on... You know, reviewing games. I I'm certainly don't do it myself, and I'm not exactly an expert on what to do and what not to do. But uh, and you know, I I'm just theorizing here. But uh, I can't imagine it would be that difficult to uh, talk about the game mechanics. Maybe go a couple chapters into the story, like you know, before anything particularly major happened. Like, you know... It, it, is, it, is it that difficult to do, or am I just putting unrealistic expectations on the people? I mean, yeah, it's Fire Emblem. People die. I know that. I mean... The thing is that the reason that Death, death of characters in Fire Emblem games. Are you fucking kidding me? I must have sent in the wrong person. Anywho, like, death in Fire Emblem games... Yeah. It, it, they happen in every game, but... You know... It's who dies that's kind of a bit of, uh, that people don't know. Like, the, the reason that Elise's death shook people as much as it did is because, well, 
Elise is by far the most... one of the more innocent characters in Fire Emblem Fates. And for her to die the way that she did... was... was a pretty big shocking thing. And how much of that shock would be lost if absolutely everybody under the sun... knew about it? Like, how... how... little of an impact would... would the death of an innocent character who... during the entire process had been trying to stop a war... How... how little of an impact would that have had if everybody knew about it already? And again, I'm not particularly angry about it because, you know, I didn't look it up to see what was spoiled. But people are rightfully pissed off about it. And the fact that this person went out of their way to actually mock the people who, uh, who decided that they, they were pissed, that they were angry about the entire incident says something about the professionalism of the of of them